If you could own and use any video game object in real life, what would that be? Scribblenauts Notebook Portal Gun A Ghost from Destiny The Sticky Ball from Katamari Damacy Would be cool to carry a little Cortana around. She really cared about Master Chief and that would probably feel nice. A Phoenix Down could be handy in real life. A Bottled Fairy from Zelda the Waba Jack from Skyrim because why not? A new hand touches a beacon. A spawn tool from mod would be my pick if the items you could spawn were real too. You'd use that to get a hold of all the other video game stuff. Just because I feel it's slept on, and pretty cool. The Omnitrix from Ben 10. Would be so sick. Fierce Deity Mask. Put it on and suddenly fuck you I'm literally a god. I will just go with a command block. Then put myself in creative mode and take over the world. Link's hookshot looks like a lot of fun. I would be in hospital within the hour. Gravity gun. Whatever armor the main character wears, like that stuff is indestructible. The materializer thingy from Subnautica could be real, real useful. Can I choose a Pokemon? Or a Pokemon ball with a Pokemon in it? Cause having a little Pokemon follow me around and help do stuff like move heavy stuff or put out fires would be the fucking dream. Otherwise, shark card from GTA V cause free money right? A console that affects the real world. SV cheats one. A Sheikah slate would be fun. Especially if I could get the age reversal app to work. BFG. Stimpak from the Fallout games. It cures everything. I can tell I'm getting old because the first thing I thought of was a lightsaber, for yard and housework. Like how awesome would it be to instantly cut through anything that needed cutting, and effortless reduce it down to tiny bits. A lightsaber would be the ultimate tool for any homeowner. What else would I need other than the Waba Jack? Blue Shell. It would just murder the most successful person. SCP-294. I think. It's a coffee machine that puts out anything you type in for 50 cents, even people. 14,958 Apexis Crystals. Health Pots. Death Star. She I I that ain't no moon. An energy sword from Halo. The magic mirror from Terraria to instantly go back home whenever I want. Save point. Web shooters. Starship Enterprise. Grappling hook from Just Cause or any form of fast travel really. Creeper spawn egg, unlimited OFC. I'd say either a master ball, portal gun, or the passage of time from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. An engineer from Planetary Annihilation. I'll be making the world a prison until the governments get their shit together and start fixing nature. If it fails, my machine society will just remove the earth entirely and take the milk away for ourselves. There's no need for biological resources to keep us thriving, unlike humanity. Blink Dagger. Jalahorn. Hearthstone. I'd want a bunch of cases of Sprunk in case my health gets low. Maxwell's Notebook. Obviously. A mech. There was an old game where you explore a solar system and try to save the planet from an incoming meteorist strike. In this game there was a vehicle that could go anywhere, the programmer's chair, and a hidden device that allows you to change the game's code in-game. Programmer's computer, either of these godlike abilities would be fine. Death Star showed up in one of the Star Wars games didn't? I'll have one of those please. Stealth Boy from Fallout. The cheat for infinite health. Materia from FFVII. Metal Gear Cardboard Box. Probably a command block. Not as snazzy as a portal gun or one-up mushroom, but it's gonna be fun to stick in your car. HRM. Probably some sort of magic endgame staff or scroll or something. Like a real ultimate this will one-shot the last boss type of thing. The Holy Grail. Anyone would work but I was specifically thinking about the one from the NASAverse. The moon cell regalia would probably be great too. How has nobody said, Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker, 
yet. Portal gun for you know. Halo energy sword would be awesome to have. Minecraft full stack of block of diamond. The most obvious answer as a doom fan, super shoddy with me talk. Grappling onto my enemies to get close and then bam. Dead. Dildo gun from destroy all humans. Ocarina of time. The Solony Dyson Sphere. Cause go big or go home. A Fantasia from FFXIV, with one of them I can be whoever I want. FSD, FTL, tech from Elite Dangerous. We need space travel. The Tree Force. The Cheat Gnome from The Sims. From Minecraft, my Minecraft Wolf BC, he's with me all the time. The Ribbon from Final Fantasy. Being immune to not only all diseases, but even minor stuff like disorientation would be worth wearing a girly ribbon every day. Maxwell's Notebook from Scribble Noughts. Ez. The amount of gold that I've massed in Diablo over the years. Treaded Cane from Bloodborne. That would be incredibly cool. The Triforce. Infinite Wishes. I just want the save game feature. Celebrimba's Ring. Now I will rule. The Infinity Gauntlet is in some video games, even if it isn't, reality can be whatever I want. Does Aku Aku count? A mask is an object. Diamond Sword. Dildo Sword, for obvious reasons. Portal from LEGO Dimensions. It allows multiversal travel, and both the LEGO Movie Universe and LEGO DC Universe connect to the wider DC Multiverse which has crossed over with several things including Marvel making those universes part of the crossover multiverse. Marvel characters are in Disney Infinity, a large crossover game, as well as Marvel vs Capcom, a series of crossover fighting games with characters from Street Fighter and Mega Man. Characters from these also appear in Smash Brothers, etc. And this is only one path which may come from LEGO Dimensions, I really have free movement between a significant portion of pop culture fiction. Stimpaks from Fallout would be a revolution in modern medicine. That's really easy, the Triforce. Make a wish to end world hunger or climate change or something like that. Meth. The Lancer from Gal. Omnitrix. There are Ben 10 games out there so I choose Omnitrix. The Ender Pearl from Minecraft so I can get out of awkward situations. Mario Kart's Blue Shell. Holy Moon Light Sword from Bloodborne. I dare anyone to fuck with me and my giant glowing magical transforming sword that shoots beams of pure concentrated arcane power. Biometal Model L. It lets you transform Power Ranger style, gives you superhuman strength, the ability move and breath freely in water, and a kickass double sided laser halberd. Beds in Bethesda games, sleep as long as you want advanced time. Fully healed and rejuvenated stats. You know when enemies are nearby. I hope it would work the same way, but Breath of the Wild's work. Just throwing ingredients to it and in a couple of seconds a delicious meal appears. The Goliath from Starcraft. There are Waii too many items in Terraria to pick from so I'll narrow it down to three. Wings, the would be so useful if you picked the right pair. Frost Spark Boots, you can still fly with them but not for as long. Still long enough to get over a fence or something and also because you can run insanely fast with them. And finally, the Cosmic Car Key, aka the UFO Mount. Unlimited flight with no fuel needed or anything like that. Portal Gun. Burial Blade from Bloodborne. The Bunny Hood from Majora's Mask. Obelisk from Dead Space. You guys can try to use your pitiful trinkets to stop me. Do meter gaming objects count? I'd probably go with save load states. A house. I play the sims. Flame my eye diamond sword. Thor destroyer 3000. Link's blue tunic. Totem of undying. Skeleton key from Skyrim. A crowbar. Blessed by the touch of a man. The myth. The god. Gordon Freeman himself. 2B. A fully operational Titan from EVE Online. It would come with a clone bay, 
So theoretically I should also be able to make myself into a capsuleer and become effectively immortal just by respawning as a new clone when I die. But even without that, as long as I have a ship with a Sinnoh beacon in the maintenance bay, I can revolutionize space travel. Ideally I'd be able to bridge normal ships and teleport them to the Sinnoh beacon, but even without that I can just put them inside the Titan and then jump there. Are female characters in games considered objects? Women. Wait, that's already in real life. Deelong. The witch's compass from God of War. Why? Because I suck at finding my way around, that's why. Anywhere door. What is the most OP spaceship? Portal gun. Question blocks from Mario because you know, coins. Lots of coins. Dragonborn. Console from Source Engine based games. Want to fly to the Bahamas? Sure just use Noclip. Death Star. Find a game where they have an actually benevolent army overlord. The Propulsion Cannon from Subnautica. Original Ghost from D1, the Dinklabot. Cortez's Time Device from Time Splitter's Future Perfect, free GPS hologram, able to time travel and is like the gravity gun but a lot smaller, yet just as powerful. Time Machine. Ray Gun from GTA Online. So I can boot my gun running supplies back to a suitable road after taking three missiles up the rear from a flying motorcycle. What? You don't run a motorcycle club and five illegal businesses, an underground bunker, an underground facility, two more illegal business operations and a nightclub in real life. My federal corvette from Elite, dangerous. Named it after my late dog. Portal gun. Boy I want a hand of my this. I am sure if I did the research there would be a great healing wand. I'd make a lot of money as a doctor. The Starship Enterprise, I could sell it and people could reverse engineer it to make universal exploration possible. Dubstep Gun. See Monday. Do you have any idea how much fun that would be? Rift to go. A red herring. Does Skooma count? The Portal Gun from Portal. The Cheat Code Llama from The Sims 3 on console. Need money? Just ask the Llama for 50k. Does the money cheat code from the sims count? Cappy. I'd probably take back a portal gun. Maybe the time machine from Cash Incorporated. The dubstep gun. I have a list but first is what I would put. Halo Energy Sword 2. 007 Jetpack 3. Gary's Mod Physics Gun 4. Halo Monitor 5. Halo Spartan Suit 6. Halo Warthog 7. Halo Ghost Banshee 8, Halo Frigate 9, Halo Pelican 10, Call of Duty Black Ops Ray Gun. Dog Whistle from Terraria. Summon a puppy at any time. Or the DCU I guess. Edit, a poke ball with Solosis inside could be cool, my favorite Pokemon. The Fire Rod from Link's Awakening. Not very useful, as I'm not an arsonist, but how fucking cool would it be to have a rod that shoots unlimited fireballs? Pip boy boy. Scribble Nauts notebook. A health bar. Not dying after being shot or worse must be great. Command blocks from Minecraft I mean like think of the possibilities. Sacred Ash. The dagger of time, in the same irresponsible way as the Prince of Persia. Tactical nuke from COD. Majorna from Pokemon. While being incredibly powerful, it was also created by a scientist and given an artificial heart, thus satisfying the rules of an object. I'd take the set of shift gear, heart swap, flare cannon, and iron defense. Majorna can then boost its attack, defense, and speed and transfer it over to me, as well as still having an extremely powerful beam attack. I am now essentially a superhuman with an incredibly sophisticated, and nice looking, mechanical companion. A radioactive spider so I get spider powers or maybe just the web shooters but ITD be cool. Edit, I just saw one that said scribble not notebook so then I could get both and that'd be dope. Be the dark sim. 